I would like to thank all of you really for accepting my invitation. I really feel really pleased and more importantly honored that you accept it to work with us. Of the objective of this initiative is to create an ecosystem, an ecosystem of ICTs, an ecosystem around the mobile technology, an ecosystem to put a human face to the ICTs. And you have been invited, of course, from your experience and your very rich experience in your area of working, but more importantly, as individuals. Individuals who believe that we can change the face of the world. Individuals who are convinced that it is not fair that today a woman will lose life when giving birth when we have the mobile phone at our fingertips. It is not fair that the non-communicable diseases continue to kill more than other diseases when mobile can do something for us. That is not fair that a, a child born today is denied proper education when we have the mobile at our fingertips. As uh, Mr. Ulin Zaro said, we have got 6.8, we expect 6.8 billion mobile subscribers by the end of this year. But out of those 6.8 billion, we have at least 6 billion people who have got at least one mobile phone. And the good thing about the mobile phone is a social anchor. This technology have got a social anchor. We all know that in the rural area, generally, when you bring a new technology, they all refuse because they're seeing coming to disturb their culture, coming to disturb their way of living. But the move, mobile phone have gone very far and been accepted. I'll put here a photo. So my first thing for you is to look at this photo and to tell me why this photo is particular. No shoes and a telephone mobile. Exactly. Thank you. This is a photo I took with someone from the Pacific Island. And you would see, it doesn't have shoes and have a mobile phone. With a price of a mobile phone, you could buy at least 10 or 20 slippers to have shoes, but it doesn't have, but you have a mobile phone. This is the beauty of it. You have to use it for development, not just <coughs> uh, take it as a level of the, the voice but it has become a platform for development. And this is what this initiative is. How do we build on this platform for development? How do we build on this platform in the way that we change the life of people who never got access to another technology? How do we build on this platform to make sure that we transform the school bag into a tablet, affordable tablet? To everybody. Yes, I have shoes, but I don't have mobile phone. <laughs> this is why I, have, I still have to fight for or to to fight. So, this is what the initiative is about, and we are very happy that you joined us. And this uh, exactly is to see how we can help achieve the Millennium Development Goal and beyond through this technology that is really available to at all level. We can contribute significantly to this tax by joining forces, by showing the world that business and development can go end in end. I want to repeat that. Business and development can go end to end towards improving the condition in which poor and underserved people are living. Uh, is this very important for me? When I'm talking about the ecosystem of the ICTs, I'm talking about business people. Because for me, development with, without business is just not sustainable. You need business to develop, to, to sustain development. So on the other end, we also need to have on our board, on, the bo on board, those who are the users. Sometimes we have been talking to ourselves in the ICT sector, talking to ourselves or repeating 
uh, in the nicer manner what we know already. But what about the, minister, the ministers, the doctors? What about the instructor, the, the professors? What about the farmers, Minister of Agriculture? We have to bring all those pe people into the ecosystem because they are the first users. And as you know, as the, the, the voice I've got has, has reached its limit, now we're talking about application. This, what, this will be the new area of growing business, the new area of development. This is where we need really to think about the uh, ecosystem and to repeat the miracle of the mobile <coughs> to a miracle of development. Miracle of mobile to a miracle of development. A development where business will flourish. A development where government will provide services they could not provide before. A, a, a development where NGOs, where everybody, where we put in the hands of ordinary people a tool to make his own life. A development where we use those mobile technology to create safety and security in our life, safety and security in the cities, safety and security uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the rural areas, safety and security also in the area where we are, we are exposed to natural disaster and to human disaster. This is what we're talking about, and farmers and small entrepreneurs in rural areas can be given the tools to access to the information they need for their businesses' progress, without having to leave their villages and to become part of the Europe, uh, urban population. All citizens can be truly empowered through ICTs. When you see the name of the initiative, M-Powering Development, it is done in purpose. The M is for mobile, but it is just small. But the powering is very big. So it's not about mobile, it's about powering. And you see the dash between M and the powering. This dash is a dash of partnership, linking us together to work. This is what is behind the naming of this initiative. Of course, empowering development. I must say, for just for the sake of uh, joking, that at the beginning, when I thought about the name, I thought about empowering people. But some friend from, from, friend from the Arab countries told me, ah, this will be a problem. Because in the Arab region, they will understand you want to empower street people to take the power again. <laughs> so you have to change to empowering development, which is even more, 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 more powerful. So I'm counting on your strategy guidance. Again, as ITU and BJT, my, the, my objective is to create a platform, to create a platform, an ecosystem where we can all together give a human, put a human face to the ICT. So I'm creating a platform for you, coming from diverse experiences, from diverse areas, to see how together we can work to make the difference. Of course, each of you are do is doing uh, perfectly good, but doing alone. And as ITU, what we're trying to do here is to have the multi-stakeholder players around a table where we can together, again, do more than what we can do. I'm <laughs> expecting that getting together here, what we do will be more than the sum of what we can do individually. So this is one expectation through this uh, initiative. And uh, I hope we'll have a very productive meeting to, today to exchange views and strategize on the implementation of the initiative, but also identify concrete action to be undertaken. So I don't want it to be another talk. This is meant for concrete action. Here, let me again give you a joke. I hope, the, I hope the European will not be angry against me. I have a friend of mine in uh, Ethiopia. One day he told me, oh, you guys, you are just NATO. I say NATO? Yes, NATO. What, what do you mean? No action, talk only. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I hope we are not NATO. Huh? So, and uh, we are going to be action-oriented to make sure that we make the difference because this is our personal conviction. I, around this table here, I have people who have got personal conviction 
to do something together to change the life of the the people and also to change the landscape of the world in the way that we make this world a better place to live for us and for the generation to come. So I trust, I don't want to be, I, I, I said that we don't need to talk a lot. I should not be talking a lot myself as a starting point. But again, I would like to thank you very much for joining us here and uh, for this uh, initiative. Uh, you will see that you receive very few communication from me. It is very simple. It was done in purpose. You will also see that you are not consulted individually to see what we're going to happen, what we expect from you. It's also done in purpose. It's an innovative way to say this initiative is just yours. We start defining the content with, of the initiative today. I don't have anything built in mind at all. It's just very open. It is your initiative. I want you to own it starting from today to earn it together and we'll be around together with my colleague, the Secretary General, the Deputy, the other two elected officials just to accompany you, to accompany you in this process of doing something for the humanity. I thank you.